Chris Hensley. Um, we've had several uh, we've had several opponents in this motion to speak about trust and trust in the body. Why should the, why should the members of Westfest trust us when it's clear that we don't trust them because we think that we know better than them and that we are more informed and that we're the one that should make the decisions? I don't think that's fair. Yes, they should be cynical of the body because you should always be cynical of the legislative body. That's healthy in a democratic system. Maybe every American in that's okay, but I really feel though that it is a matter of trust. We have to trust the Wisconsin body. I give them a lot more credit than the opponents of the motion apparently do. Thank you. Speech again. So being from Massachusetts, what we essentially have here is a town meeting, and town meetings work very well. Uh, I am very concerned that uh, the, the final ratification by membership will become essentially a rubber stamp popularity contest and not really worth anything. Kind of like some of you guys are just becoming a popularity contest. Um, if we want to solve this for people like Judy and people working treasury, then I think the solution is proxies. And if you don't, I'm sorry, that's my opinion. Speech in favor. Still very uh, We like to pre pretend that WISPIS is a society when in fact it's a bunch of people that come to the business meeting and then we give lip service to everyone else being a member if they are a supporting or attending member of the WorldCon. This will actually make the WISPIS members WISPIS members. They will have a say in the governance of the society. Uh, if we want to continue to move forward in the future and include more people, this is the way to go. <laughs> Speech you gain. Sure. Um, brief, just go ahead. Uh, who is responsible? Who will be responsible for counting? The administrating convention, uh, which. But who is it? Is it site selection? No. no. It's up to the administrating convention <coughs> <and> whoever <coughs> they want to count the balance. John mentioned that yesterday, Pat. I hope so. Hi, Mr. We've got 10 seconds left on the fourth side and about three seconds left on the yes. Speech against. I don't think we've considered that this is going to cost uh, world cons. It is an imposition on world cons that they do this. They have to write it, they have to publish it, they have to pay for mailing it, and they have to provide someone to either add to the site selection process additional paperwork or create a separate process which has to be staffed. Uh, we're short on volunteers this year. We've been short on volunteers every year in the past, well, at least 30 or more. Um, it, it's really, in my opinion, a waste of time and energy for us to put this um, imposition on world time. Speech in favor? Uh, by how much? Move to extend debate by two minutes. Is there a second? Second. Uh, okay. All those in favor of extending debate time by two minutes, please raise your hand. Thank you. All those opposed? Uh, these two thirds in favor, it's uh, questionable. Um, I, I believe debate time has been extended by two minutes. Just one on each side. Right? Uh, the next speech would be in favor. Uh, Uh, when we talk about people not being able to make the meeting, I don't think it's because their con job is what's interfering. It's because their real job is interfering, their real lives. Um, it, it's not just like paying 40 bucks for a you know, site selection voting fee. It costs a lot of money to come from California to London, or from London to California, or all around the world for every world con. So there's a question of um, whether or not uh, with this being able to vote on Wisconsin matters is a price performance thing as well as uh, I believe in equal democracy for everybody and whether you are able to afford going to Wisconsin or not and therefore I support uh, having general ratification. 
speech against. Uh, a previous speaker used the word explode, and, and that's what worries me. Um, we've seen so many examples of issues uh, hitting Twitter and exploding in a way that isn't very rational, where people only see sound bites, don't see the context. And uh, it just concerns me that that's how this decision we made. I love social media, but I feel like we haven't learned how to use it in a responsible way yet. Um, so I'm, I'm against this. Speech in favor? Okay. You have 10 seconds. Uh, I'm unconvinced that this will have the benefits that the proponents have mentioned, but it has a sunset clause. We can try it. I don't believe it will do massive harm in the few years that it will have to be in existence before it gets re-ratified. Speech again. 30 seconds remain for speech again. Jonathan Snead. Um, public votes mean public campaigning and public debates. Unlike the state of California, we aren't born into this group, we are a self-selected fandom. And part of our job here is to maintain the amicability and coherency of the groups that can main, continue to be a self-selected community. We should continue that these debates will, in some ways, erode that, even as it works to improve our constitution's pure democracy, that democracy is not necessarily our primary goal. Now, all time for debate has expired. Proceed to the vote. Move to extend debate by two minutes. Is there a second? Move to extend debate by two minutes. Is there a second? Second. Okay, all those in favor of extending debate time by two minutes, please raise your hand. Thank you, those opposed. Thank you, there have been less than two thirds in favor. Uh, debate time is not extended. We'll proceed to a vote. We'll vote by Server Dean voting. All those in favor of this constitutional amendment, please rise.
I would worry with um, giving this right to NASPIC, which is the North American Science Fiction Convention, that we would uh, be opening the door for the possibility of giving uh, such privileges to other uh, countries' uh, national conventions. The moon and seconded to extend the debate time by two minutes. All those in favor, please raise your hand. Thank you. All those opposed? There being less than two-thirds in favor, uh, the wait time is not extended. As I mentioned, time in favor has expired. Are there any further speeches against? which I also have issues with, uh, of being allowed uh, three WorldCon years uh, members to nominate. It just seems to me if you can't take enough interest in WorldCon to join once every three years, you don't really have any business nominating for the Are there any further speeches against? Next item of business, 2.1.3, on page 9. 
coming of the agenda. Uh, time set for this was 12 minutes. It inserts a new section in the Constitution. Then to clarify the eligibility of fiction categories, that is based on the content rather than the format of delivery. Um, as it three times instead of 12 minutes, is there any objection to ratifying? Who will be this constitutional amendment? Okay. Last uh, speech in favor?
The fact is, let's take a different case now. Let's imagine that um, somebody publishes a book on Harry Potter, and then Stephen Fry the next year did a fabulous rendering of it as an audio book, and it got thousands of votes in BDP. If that had happened after Harry Potter won the ego, I'm pretty sure we would have allowed the BDP in the same way we would have allowed a film of the book or radio play. If people are recognising the performance, they're recognising the dramatic content and not the story. Otherwise, we wouldn't be voting for movies made out of books. <laughs> I'd like to. Um, okay. Yeah, if you're going to say anything. Uh, Chris Antonio, I would like to move to amend after the final period to put <laughs> any work nominated in the fiction category. also be eligible in another category in this calendar year.
Is there any water in the room? Yes. Um, when he's being asked this, if it was a written work and six months later an audio book came out for the same work under this rule, would it be considered a the same work? My understanding of the wording is that it would not, because the wording is explicitly a work nominated, a, a work specifically nominated under these rules, so it would only apply to to something that was not made because it was essentially an audio book or you know, explicitly not an book or explicitly a single ebook work, they would be separate because of the wording of the rule that we are amending. Yes. Speech against the amendment? Time on. Four. Mary Robin at If we were talking about a book and a movie that came out in the same year, we would let them both be eligible because those are two very different works. And I think that the number of cases, the number of incidents in which an audiobook is going to be the best dramatic presentation that someone has heard all year are going to be very few. And if it is the best dramatic presentation that someone has heard all year and the best written work of fiction, by God, we should let the voters nominate that. Right, and any further speech to engage the amendment? More and both. Perhaps this is a bit of Platonism, but I do believe that the story itself is separate from the, from the method of presentation of the story, as is made clear in the original motion. And I believe this amendment is folly. Uh, further speech to engage the amendment? Perverse to ban an audio book from best presentation uh, nomination in the year that the uh, work is first published, when it would clearly still be eligible in future years if it was a new audio book reading, whether the original publication was in print or, or in audio book form. And therefore, I think the, uh, this amendment is ill for. Uh, 
suggesting that in the future at any time that the words of the current Constitution are uh, to be interpreted in a particular way. Uh, and I don't think that you will actually see any effective uh, change in the way Hugo's are administered merely by adopting this particular uh, amendment. I don't think I want, I don't think I want to, to propose a, a, a resolution in substitution. I think that would be the appropriate thing to do. All, all debate time has expired. It has been moved and seconded to extend debate time by two minutes. All those in favor of extending debate time, please raise your hands. Thank you. All those in favor, please raise your hands. The nays have it. Debate time is not extended. So we'll now proceed to a vote. For those in favor of this constitutional amendment, please raise your hand. Thank you. Those opposed. Uh, the ayes have it, and the amendment passes. It will be uh, come up for ratification next year in Sasquatch. Yeah. So the next item of business is 2.14. 2.14. Uh, performers are fans too. Debate time has been set at 10 minutes. Um, adds a new keyword category as put on page 10 of the agenda. Best fan performer. Um, so, is there a speech in favor of this? Again, Joshua We have before us an opportunity to open our big tent and demonstrate that fans performing for other fans are just as valued as fan writing, fan art, and fan fans. Okay, thank you. I've heard a number of arguments against this proposal, but none against the core idea that fan performance is valuable, because it is valuable. I've heard that costumers and filters have their own rewards, that full-time musicians would be eligible, and nearly everyone would be eligible, and that the category was simply too broad. But we generally don't have an issue with category having too many items people want to nominate. It's having too small a category that's an issue. If you look at best related work, we don't have any problem finding enough nominations to fill the category. Now, as far as eligibility goes, that's a flaw. That's not a flaw, that's a feature. We trust the nominators to tell the difference between fan and pro writing, Fan and pro um, art, I'm pretty sure they can tell the difference. Someone being able to support themselves on their fan work 
doesn't mean it's not fan work, it means we really like it. The difference between my work and that of, say, S.J. Tucker or Tom Smith or Leslie Fish is far smaller than that between them and Disney or the BBC. Finally, do you know who else has their own awards? Fancy writers, movie makers, television producers, podcasters, comic creators, and novelists. Thank you. Speech again. And still Perry Emery. Uh, while I am sympathetic to recognition of fan performances, I am not in favor of another award for a person rather than a specific work. Uh, we've had trouble with the best artist. We tried to give the artist awards and that didn't work uh, because people were not familiar enough with individual works. Uh, I think people are familiar enough with individual performances that those could be a category and, and nominated. I think there are too many performers out there that have particular followings that would best be nominated because their fans will nominate them for anything. Uh, and I think that it is a, it is a broken category. Speech in favor. Then speech is against. Yeah. <laughs> in general, I hate reputation, you guys. And works, we can look at the work and decide how good it is. When we have something for a performer or an artist or things like that, then you frequently end up with people winning Hugo's based on oh, a single work that was published once as compared to an entire body of work because that artist was a really great artist and they happened to publish one lousy painting, except that it was actually an interior work. Um, fan performers, or any other kind of performers, or any other kind of work where you are judging by a body of work, with particularly when in this case you can't force people to see what work was done in that year, at least with artists, we can now make them show what work was generated in that year. I hate reputation. I want the Yugo to be for work in that year. Speech in favor. Because that's folly. It really is 
attempting to box things that can't be boxed. Uh, similarly, uh, performance is a kind of art, right? Performing arts are art. And if we want to honor them, they really belong in the fan art categories, uh, either, you know, as uh, um, a best, you know, best artist or best fan artist or in that kind of category. Uh, it doesn't really, it's so specialized. This category is so specialized and so um, tiny in, in its scope that it really lacks the um, broadness of, of, of the other categories and I really don't think it should be. Oh, and I would have, I would have supported, or might, might well have supported it if it had been best performance rather than best performer. Speech to the paper. Uh, okay, can you, what is it? Oh, you know, we have a motion to amend. So I would like to amend this to best perform best fan performance. Uh, it would read a performance in any medium which has appeared at conventions or through other public non-professional display during the previous calendar year. So it's moved and seconded to strike out. Uh, I guess change the name. That instead of which I'm not told. Best fan performance and. Uh, Change uh, forming artist to performance. So that's really just three words of change. Yes? Yes, I turned whose work to. Point of order. Repeat the question. Question, please. I didn't hear that. Repeat, repeat the question, Mike, please. The, the, the question was, was about the text. It said, should we strike out whose work? And I said, yes, we're striking out whose work and replacing the that.